Okay, so we have a material grade of A529 that we want to change globally to 572. So we're going to use some selection filters and we're going to start selecting uh, we're going to start selecting beams that have QNECT components only. So we're going to go to end one contains we're going to do period zero asterisk. We know that there's no other combination that's going to provide a other than QNECT, and then we'll go ahead and select. Now you'll notice it didn't just select the beams. It also selected bolts, welds, so on and so forth. So we also want to filter to our main parts. Once we do that, now you'll see that we've selected beams only, and only the beams that have a QNECT connection at the connection code end one. Let's go to the user defined attributes. In the QNEC tab, we're going to go to re-engineer and say yes. Notice that's the only attribute we're changing. So we go ahead and modify that. As soon as it cycles through, you're going to notice that there's red cones at the start handles for these QNEC components, as you can see right here. So don't forget to go back to uh, make sure that you're going to be able to select more than just those beams. You'll notice that it wants you to re-engineer it, rerun it. So we'll do just that. We're going to go to a QNECT filter, QNECT revised components. That's going to only select the components that need to be rerun. So we're going to go ahead and select all of those. You'll see it's been it's selecting only the red cones. Now we'll go ahead and run this, and you'll notice a little bit of a difference in button one, the bottom portion for re-engineering. We'll go ahead and send this through. Let's go ahead and hit button two, bring that back up. Okay, now let's go back to connection and see if we have grade 50. So we're going to have to go back to the filter again, just take it all the way back up to standard, apply, and then we can select whatever we want. There's the plate, and now we are grade uh, A572 grade 50. Then don't. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to Go ahead and delete all these rows, add one row. Now we're going to look at end two and we're going to do the same exact thing. So we would come in, go to end two, contains, and then point zero, asterisk, apply. And now just selecting the parts only. If we come in, we should be able to select just the beams associated to end two connections.